familiar scripture. Today's message is simple. Prayer of Jabez. The prayer of Jabez. The prayer of Jabez. Most of you, you know it. But I want us to expand on it. I want us to expand on the prayer of Jabez. First uh, Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. What does he say? I want us to read the last part. So God, I mean, why, why, why so fast? Why, why this prayer was answered like? And God granted him that which he requested. God, let us not look at what he prayed. I want us to. I, I want us to. To start it from the last verse. And God granted him what he requested. Why so fast? What happened? Why? Who is Jabez? So I want us to look at verse 1, the heading of verse 1. It will give you, it will give you some, what the, the heading, what does the heading say? The family of who? Of Judah. So Jabez prayed a prayer based on who he was. It's important. Amen? He prayed a prayer based on what? On who he was. So if you want to understand Jabez, let us go to, to Genesis 49. Genesis 49, verse 8. The Bible says, you, Judah, you are he whom your brothers shall praise. Your hand shall be on the neck of your enemies. Your father's children shall bow down to you. Nine, Judah is a lion's whelp. A lion's whelp means it's a child of a lion. Where, where was I? From the prey from the prey, my son, you have gone up. He bows down, he lies down as a lion. And as a lion, who shall rose him? The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor Lord give up from between his feet, until Shiloh comes. Shiloh means peace. And to him shall be the obedience of the people. So Jacob is blessing his sons, but to Judah, he releases the most astonishing blessing. That Judah, Judah means praise, by the way. Judah means praise. Judah, your hand shall be an, upon the neck of your enemy. Meaning, Judah, you shall always be victorious. No, no, uh, and uh, are, are, are you with me? Judah shall always be what? Victorious. That one he must know. And say, you shall always reign. Meaning wherever you are, you'll always be what? In control. Say, your brothers shall bow down on you. Meaning Judah was afforded now what? The, the rulership. The, the royalty of Israel sets upon what? Judah. That's the reason why even to this day, they are called the Jews from who? Judah. Even though there are other tribes within. There's Manasseh, there's Benjamin, there's Issachar, and so on and so on. So when Jabez was praying, Jabez was not just, he had the revelation 
of who he was. He was in the... He, 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 we, we, call, we call Chronicles the post-exile book. Meaning when they came back from exile from Babylon, the tribe of Judah has lost some land. But the Bible says, Jabez was an honorable man, if you read verse 9. He was rich, he had wealth. But still he's saying, oh God, that you bless me. Okay, so why was he praying? The first thing that Judas said, he said, I know who I am. The, I have got the mark of the tribe of Judah. What was the mark of the tribe of Judah? The, the tribe of Judah, they had the mark of a face of a lion. That's why even if you can check even to this day, the flag of, the, the, the arm of coat of Israel is what? It's a lion. Not the flag. The flag is the star of David. The arm of coat is what? It's a lion. So Judah prayed from the place of revelation. Not Judah, Jabez. Prayed from the what? From the place of what? Of revelation, of knowing who he was. That one you have, you, you, is important. Many people are saying, we're going to go and pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh, that you bless me indeed, or oh, enlarge me. But you don't have any background of who you are. You don't understand who, of who you are. What is it that was done before that gives you the authority now? Am I talking to someone? What, what is it that was... Okay, are you a product? The, even though the Bible said Jabez, the other, the other name for Jabez is who? Benoni. Do you, do, do you know what Benoni means? Birthed in pain. Or son of pain. Jabez, my mother bore me what? In pain. But he refused. Check this. Jabez refused to acknowledge the current. I'm, I'm not saying if I'm talking to someone. Am I talking to someone? He refused to what? To acknowledge what? The current. Yes, my mother birthed me in pain. I might be the result of pain, but I know who, where I'm coming from. I am from the tribe of Judah. I know that in me lies victory. It has been said that my hand, that my hand shall be upon the neck of my enemy. You know, sometimes we make decisions on the current circumstances and forget who we are. And forget what we have done before. And forget the blessing that has been released upon our lives. Oh, you know, that's the reason why it's important that when somebody speak a word upon your life, write it down. And the date. And say, on this day, I as Judah, my father Jacob said, uh, in, in fact, the Bible said he's the one who received the, the, the most blessing more than all. My father Jacob said, I will be victorious. I will be a monarch because I will, my, my brothers will bow down on me. Generations later, Jabez is coming. A son born in pain. But he does not pray a prayer of pain. And God, and the Bible says, and God granted him what, what, what he requested. What is it that he requested? He knew who he was. So, child of God, who are you today? Are you the product of the current circumstances? Or are you the product of of the finished works of Calvary, the Lion of Judah, who is Jesus Christ. Because the, Jacob said, you shall be a lion's wolf. What is the lion's wolf? It's a cub. So, you say, say I'm a lion's wolf because I'm the daughter or the son of the Lion of Judah. Amen? You, don't, you are not a daughter. Amen? So, what Jabez prayed for, he's praying a prayer 
based on the covenant that he had with God. The covenant of blessing. That we as the tribe of Judah are blessed. He is not praying for a temporal blessing. He is not praying a panado prayer. Do, 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 do you know people pray a panado prayer? A panado prayer comes with temporal relief. That's the reason why you will never see in any medication written, this pill heals headache. They say it brings what? Relief. So, Jabez is praying a covenanted prayer. So, many of us pray for the sake of praying. You know, when you pray with the covenant in mind, your faith changes. That's the reason why we're going to go to the end. And God granted him. The funny part about this small chapter or this small passage we don't see Jabez raising up sacrifices. We don't see Jabez slaughtering the cows to appease God and all that. But God, it's written that God granted him. Why? Because the covenant was established already. Am I talking to someone? Why am I saying this? Most of the time, you'll find that you are looking for a financial breakthrough. And you don't have a seed to sow for that. You believe that you need to get a financial breakthrough. You don't have a seed to sow for that. Can I, can I tell you something? God knows your heart. God sees you. The seed has been sown already in Golgotha. Jesus Christ has been crucified already. When you don't have anything to offer, go to the covenant. You go away. So, Jabez did not offer anything. He went back went to the covenant. He prayed a prayer of supplication. Say, Heavenly Father, all that you bless me indeed and enlarge my territory by the reason of the covenant that I have with you through the blood of Jesus Christ. Say, not on my works, but by the finished works of Calvary. Hallelujah. Now he said, that you enlarge my coast. This is very much important. Where Jabez was, they learned that they were, they were Canaanites around them. When Jabez was saying, enlarge my coast, he was saying, Expel these Canaanites. There are spirits that we are allowing around us. There are things that we tolerate as human beings. There are certain sins that we tolerate around us. There are certain thoughts that we know that they are ungodly, hence we tolerate them. So when Jabez was saying, enlarge my coast, he's saying, expel everything change everything around me that will block my increment. Because when you are saying enlarge my coast, he knew that he was surrounded by the Canaanites. He knew that he was surrounded by the hostile nation. But he did say, God, enlarge my coast. You know, when you say, God, enlarge my coast, there are two things that you must expect. One, change from you. Two, God will act based on your change. Am I talking to someone tonight? Am I talking to someone tonight? Say my coast is enlarged. No, you didn't say like you mean it. Say my coast is enlarged. And what happens when your coast is enlarged? Write it down. One, you, you receive increase of worldly substance. Two, spiritual deliverance from spiritual enemies. Well, that, that's, that's what happens when God enlarges your post. Spiritual deliverance from what? Spiritual enemies. Three, grace to exercise. Grace to exercise 
the spiritual enlightenment or knowledge. For you desire spiritual things. So, when you say God enlarge my cause, that's exactly what you're asking for. That's exactly what you're asking for. You're saying, God, deliver me from the physical enemies, the, or, and the spiritual enemies are the known sins in, in you. Three, you need to be delivered from the spiritual enemies, those who are working against you spiritually. I've written that down. And grace to exercise enlightenment, spiritual enlightenment for, for knowledge and wisdom, knowing what to do. And also, you are given the desire, desire to desire only godly things. You know, one thing that I've realized, Wongoven, that the church has, is full of godly and godly people. We don't have any problem to gossip. We don't have any problem to be, to be vengeful. We don't have any problem to be angry. We don't have any problem to plot the downfall of the church or the pastor. And in, that, in all that midst, we pray for enlargement. It is not possible. If people can understand Jabez's prayer, Jabez is saying to God, I have surrendered to you. Even my frailties are surrendered to you. So what is it? What is it that will stop on your increment? Let us pray. Say, your Heavenly Father, forgive me for every sin that I've committed with my mind, with my action and speech. Anything that will prevent my enlargement to grow. Say, Heavenly Father, deal with those that I cannot deal with. Let your grace enlighten me to last after divine things, not worldly things. That's exactly what Jabez prayed for. Hallelujah. Are we together? Let us go to Psalm 4 verse 1 quickly. Just want to show you something. You're going to look at Jabez's prayer differently. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have relieved me from my... You have relieved me in my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. That's exactly what Jabez has prayed for. He saw God as his righteousness. So that's why Jabez's prayer is positional and covenanted. He knows the covenant. He knows that he's from the tribe of Judah. He knows his position. He knows where he's supposed to grow. So now, what is your position? You are in Christ, the Lion of Judah. You know what Jesus Christ is supposed to do in you and for you. Am I talking to someone? Hallelujah. Say, I'm in Christ. You may be seated because you are not fit like me. <laughs> Say, I'm in Christ. I know what belongs to me. Say, I'm blessed coming in and, and blessed going out. Say, the blood of Jesus Christ has given me everything that pertains to life. You see, prayer is not what you say. 90% of your prayer is where you are and 10% your words. I can prove it. The sons of Skiva, they said all the right things. But they were in the wrong place. They say in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, you demon, I command you to go out. They used the name of Jesus. They were right about Paul. 
but spiritually, positionally, they were not there. So their right ways didn't prevent the demons from kicking them. Hallelujah. And said, oh, that you Okay, go back to First Chronicles. Yeah, thank you. Oh, that you will bless me indeed, enlarge my border. And after he prayed for that, check this. And that your hand might be with me. What is that hand? The hand in today's knowledge is saying, let me always be in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Because the prophets of all spoke about the hand of God, referring to the presence and the doings of God. He's saying, let me always be found where God wants me. Let your hand be upon me. In other words, he's saying, when your hand is upon me, there is protection, there is comfort, there is grace, there is wisdom to direct, and power to execute. Am I talking to someone tonight? So when you pray what you are praying for, what will sustain what you have prayed for? The hand of God. Amen? Father, I pray for wealth. And when that wealth comes, because the hand of God is not upon the wealth, the wealth helps you to kill you. You are no longer going to church. We just said that, no, so-so was involved in an accident Sunday morning. They were coming from a, a function, millionaire's function. But when your hand of God is upon you, when God has answered your prayer, you also direct what he has answered. Am I talking to someone? Your answers I must be directed by the one that you pray to. Because most of us, we are, we, are, we, are, we are waiting for answers. Some answers won't come. Because if you are praying for something, that God knows that you don't have the ability to sustain it. But when you pray, that's why when Solomon prayed for wisdom, God gave him wealth also. He didn't pray for wealth. He prayed for wisdom. And God gave him what? Wealth because he will have the ability to do what? To manage the wealth. And what was the faith thing that Solomon did? He built his house. Secondly, he built his house. Simultaneously, he was building what? The house of God. That was the first thing that Solomon f focused on. But when you get wealth outside the wisdom of God... The first thing that you'll do is a Range Rover because you want to be seen. Number two, pride. You know, Mr. Tusi, I was going to take you with, but your, your car, is, it doesn't, I sue to turn a mall around. I want a mall, I want a mall. If it, at least if it was a Jeep or if it was something small like Wojib and yeah, but when I would say the women cities and all that, they don't fit in. But don't worry, I'll come, I'll give you feedback. That's when pride is set in. You're talking to someone? Your gift, what God has blessed you with, what you've prayed for, the first, the biggest prayer that you can pray, Father, let your hand be upon what I'm doing now. Let your hand be upon this position that you have given me. Let your hand be upon my family, my husband, my wife. I want to tell you the reason why Jabez's prayer was answered like. Because in everything that he has prayed for, he asked for God.
Hallelujah. Can you stand up a bit? One of the things that about enlarge my coast is a multiply my borders with disciples. So we are going to pray. We have prayed this prayer yesterday, but today we are going to say, Father, as you enlarge the coast, the borders of this church, multiply it with disciples. Why? In everything that you do, put God first. And mind your language. Make this, make this declaration. Say, Father, we thank you for enlarging and multiplying the borders of this church, my life, my businesses with disciples. Say, Father, as you enlarge me, as you increase me, increase the number of people that I will disciple to your kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us finish and that your hand might be with me. The last one is power to keep. How many of you have watched the show I, I Blew It? You've watched it, no? Do you know what those people lacked? The power to keep. Yes, you write wisdom. The power to keep. Who is wisdom? Do you know wisdom is a person? Who is wisdom? Christ. I'll teach you about that one day. Christ's wisdom is, is Christ. So, if you can check, I blow it. Every person that was blessed, if, I'm sure all those guys before they can play lot or wherever they can get the money, they pray that, Father, let me get the millions. But they forgot to add what Jabez prayed for. So now, what Jabez has asked for is power to keep. Let your hand be upon me. You can pray for a particular ministry and you become so famous because of that ministry such that you are attracted by the attention that you are getting by the world, from the world. And then you lose the power to keep the anointing in the gift. Am I talking to someone? Say, Father, as you bless me, give me the power to keep what you have blessed me with. That's what Jabez asked for, that doubt your hand might be upon me. Father, I'm looking at someone and I'm thinking of marriage. Say, Father, give me marriage. God give you marriage. I was looking at this clip. <laughs> I'll forward it to you on couples. I was looking at the clip. This woman is talking about this is how you keep a husband and the husband is holding her like they are together. This is how you keep your husband, you know. A woman must listen to the husband and all that. And when the husband wanted to add on, can't you get up? I put Kamunai on the spot. And remember, she's giving advice. That <laughs> so she has wisdom, but she doesn't have the power to keep. You can have the power to, you can have wisdom to get and lack the power to keep. That's when you pray that, that your hand might be upon me, oh God. I've prayed for my marriage. It is here. I've prayed for my car. It is here. I've prayed for this. There's someone that we prayed for. God gave her the the money to go to school and all that. 
others, and now we say, no, I can't come to church, I'm studying. The power to keep. So what are you doing? If God has blessed you, what you are, don't kick him out of your blessing. Can we read the last part? And God, and God granted him why so fast? Because of what Jabez asked for. Hallelujah. And uh, let, let us read the And that will keep me from evil. Jabez is saying, Let not my eyes depart from God because of what God has granted me and focus on the evil that might come that might come with the blessing hallelujah say my eyes shall not depart from God by the reason of what God has blessed me with. Hallelujah. And also, he's saying, God, give me the grace not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Keep me from evil. Give me the grace not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Because he knows that when things happen, it is easy to grieve the Holy Spirit. You know, I'm tired of church, you know. Since I got rich, the church, all they speak about is money, money, money. I think pastor is looking at me. Pelana, I was not blessed for a church. I've worked so hard. Evil. And keep me from evil. Hallelujah. I spoke about mercy. And what other evil? I spoke about somebody being destroyed by wealth. is evil. So when we say God keep me from evil, God protect you from being destroyed by what he has blessed you with. If you pray that prayer, I'm sure that God will start working on you to, to take you to a place where he can sustain you. Am I talking to someone? God, please bless me with, uh, I, need, I need to earn 100,000. No, you, you don't ask for 100,000 increase. You go for 10%. Father, uh, okay, 10, okay, if I'm any 100,000. Okay, Father, I would like my tithe to be 10,000. No, you, you don't ask for 100,000. Father, I would like my tithe to be 10,000. When, when 100,000 come, don't allow evil to steal the 10,000. Because it is the 10,000 that is covenanted with God, not the 90,000. Are we together? Because you will lose the 90,000 by taking out the 10,000 because of evil. So when you say, Father, I'm telling I'm, you, that's, that's why... Can we read the last part again? And God, and God what? Granted him what? What he requested. The Bible say, it doesn't say like Abraham. Abraham was promised a promised land, but it says your, your descendants will go to it. The promise went to his children. But to Jabez, it was granted. Why? He covered himself. Hallelujah. He did what? He covered himself. Amen. The last one, all oh, that will keep me from evil. Don't be easily provoked. 
when you have what other people don't have. Can I repeat that again? Don't be easily provoked when you have what other people don't have. What am I saying about this? People will come and ask because they see that you have what you, you, they don't have. And sometimes they might overdo things. They might expect the unexpected from you. But I want to know, please come and take us to Bloemfontein. I mean, it's only Wednesday night, Uta Hotla, Thursday morning, we are miracle. But I'll be tired. We want our home. And then, you, and then, you, and then you, you'll be angry. Then people will be unreasonable. But don't allow the evilness of anger. Because that anger which is attached to what God has blessed you with. It spoils your blessing. So how do you deal with that? Say, if, say I will have the ability, the wisdom to move away from evil emotions. Am I talking to someone tonight? Can you go to the last part? He said, oh no, that, that it may not be, it may not, that it be not my sorrow. The blessing of the Lord bringeth what? Makes what want? Rich and brings what? No sorrow. I saw a story of a man. He was a policeman. He won lotto, 45 million. You may be seated now. He won lot of 45 million. When they were interviewing him, the first words that he said was that I was better off with my salary than, that, than those millions. They brought nothing but misery in my life. What happened? When he lost them, because he was used to high life. You know, when money is coming out only, when does it come in, it will ultimately do what? Run out. He started committing fraud and crime to sustain the lifestyle that he, that, that, that he was used to. So the millions that he got landed him in jail. But at first, it was a good lifestyle. So when Jabez prays said, that I may cause no sorrow. And the Bible says, and God granted him that which he requested. I mean, how many people have been praying and things are not coming to pass? Is because our prayers don't have pillars. You want, you want an answer and God can see your heart that this one. Ah. 10,000. Uh, Pastor, I can't come. You know, uh, I've booked myself come on one the whole day, the whole Sunday morning. I'll be they'll be massaging me. Yeah, this Sunday morning, you know, Pastor, yeah. Yeah, so I won't be able to, to come to church. So just try to shift things around, see what you can do. I'll transfer my offering and do, do not worry. Blessings without pillars. So Jabez's prayer is a prayer that, that is what? Pillars. He built the house for the blessings. And when God saw the house, he said, I know where these blessings are going. Let me release them. And there was a catchment area for the blessings. So Tell me, when you pray, does your blessings 
or answers to your prayers, you have a catchment area. When God granted him what he requested, he saw where they were going. Hallelujah. So, and God granted him what, that which he requested. Why? First John 5, 14 to 16. Because Jabez prayed according to the will of God. So I want you to go read Jabez's prayer again by yourself with cross-reference. If you are reading a Bible, the, uh, the one that's in the phone, the electronic, when, when there is that box, just click the box and cross-reference. It will show you that Jabez prayed from the position of knowing who he was. You are praying from the position of being in Christ. Jabez prayed the will of God because of the position. First, number one is what? The position. Number two, the will of God. Number two is what? The will of God. Say, I know who I am. I know where I am. Hallelujah. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? I want to put it to you that whatever that you are going to pray for tonight, you'll get it. Your prayers will be answered tonight. Why? You are going to create a catchment area for your blessing. God doesn't want to release a floating blessing. That will attract even the enemy. The Bible said the prodigal son, when he took what his father was going to bless him with, he went out. He, he, he walked outside the catchment area of his father. The Bible said he blew the money with the world and with what? With prostitutes. So he became vulnerable. So the issue was not whether he's blessed or not. The issue is that he removed the blessings from the catchment area and he became vulnerable. How many of you are ready to receive the answers tonight? How many of you are ready to pray? Are you ready to pray? We still have time. I want you to, to pray. The Bible says Jabez means the one born in what? In pain or in sorrow. Jabez is the same as what? As Benoni. When I learned that one, I even called Pastor Chita. Do you know what Benoni means? Bathed in sorrow, so I will never live in Benoni. <laughs> I was just saying because Benoni means based in sorrow. It's, it's the same as, as Jabez. So, um, in other words, I'm saying your current pain mustn't determine your catchment area. Maybe you woke up in pain. Maybe you, you came today because you are in pain. But pray a prayer that God will grant your request now by creating the catchment area where God will say this one I can trust her with this I can trust him with this I can trust him with this why because he has asked for all the right things hallelujah
Let us stand up. Let me make some declarations. God is enlarging the coast. In fact, God has enlarged the coast and the boundaries of this place. Amen? Our sphere of influence, as we were praying last night, Matlangane, I saw, you know, when they give you the picture for network coverage, where it covers, I saw the network coverage of Sichuan, Sichuan of all nations, it stretched up to Midrand. It went up to Kaya Sands, Cosmo City. And this side, it went up beyond Benoni, up to Springs. And this side, we were up to Bosubu Gang, the, 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 the coverage. Up to Senten. That was the cover of the church. The epicenter was here. So, in other words, as we were praying, I was seeing God enlarging our territory. I saw that yesterday, and I know that it's happening. All that we need to do is to continue doing what you're doing now. We are setting up structures. We are building. We are not rushing for numbers. Because numbers, when they come without a catchment area, it becomes what? A problem. Hallelujah. So I want you, when you pray, see God increasing, not only your wealth, but your sphere of influence. When you walk into the manager's office, Humoto, let, let her answer be said, just yes. Okay, I was waiting for you. I knew it. Yes, do it. Everybody will be angry in the company because they say yes to you. Because your sphere of influence is what? Increased. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe that tonight is my time for my territory to be enlarged. That your hand will be with me. And that you keep me from evil that I may cause no sorrow. Say, I thank you, God, that you have granted that which they granted me, that which I have requested. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Make those declarations. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you the glory, mighty God. We honor you, Father. We